Welcome fellow guitar travellers. My name is Reverend J Parker and this is a blues rock improvisation. This video is aimed at those of you who would like to develop or improve your improvisation and your soloing. So let's dive straight in with scale pattern one. Now this is an extremely common and well-known scale shape. You probably already know this shape. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Most every guitarist has learned that shape at one time or another. So this is how I'm going to show you the scales. I'm going to give you a position on the guitar and then I'm going to dictate finger numbers, digits. And just in case you're not clear, index finger is finger one, this is finger two, finger three, and little finger, that's finger four, okay? So, go up to position five, I'm going to do this fingering. One, four, then one, three, then one, three, one, three, one, four, one four and the same on the way back so reversing everything four one four one three one three one three one four one just pay very close attention to the fingering on the video it should be fairly straightforward and the tablatures in the book as well so hopefully you can pick it up not too bad so let's demonstrate this scale with some backing just to demonstrate the harmonic context and uh, let's have a listen the tempo 100 beats a minute and this time i'm going to play some quavers and then we'll double it up with semi quavers okay so let's have a quick listen here we go first pattern, pattern one, is a scale sequence, an extremely common descending scale sequence. Um, what happens in this pattern is that the scale is sequenced in groups of three notes. So you have three notes descending, and then we go back to the second note we played, and then go a further three notes down the scale, and back to the second note of that group, and three notes down, and so on and so on. So we're going to incrementally descend down the scale, one scale tone at a time. It's a particularly common melodic pattern, and I'm sure you'll recognise it when you hear it. I will play it to you very slowly. This time I'm not going to give you fingering, because we would probably make it very convoluted to teach. And also, if you've learned the scales properly, then fingering should be pretty much ingrained. So let's have a listen, very slow tempo. Super slow. Let's have a listen a bit quicker and then I'll demonstrate it with some backing. And two ways that we can play this particular pattern we can alternate pick everything, or alternatively, uh, whenever we have two notes in a string, we can use some pull offs. Um, I like this way that both. Uh, particular variation sound, I'll demonstrate both for you. Okay, so let's do it with the backing track. I'm gonna do half tempo, eighth note triplets, and then we'll see if we can rattle up some 16th note triplets for you. Okay, let's have a listen. Section 3 Pentatonic Licks. This is the fun section. Get to learn a whole bunch of uh, cool blues rock licks. Everything from uh, your real 50s Chuck Berry licks through to, you know, 80s Pentatonic little licks, Jimmy Page style licks, and some shred licks at the end as well. Should be a bunch of fun. So here is the first lick. This is an old chestnut from 1950 something. Chuck Berry played this on Johnny Be Good. Still a good lick though. Let's have a listen. Thank you. 
it's a super simple lick, all done down strokes, double stop across uh, B5 and E5 and you have to bend the G7 and I'm using my second and third fingers to do that bend. Uh, tempo, I'm going to demonstrate this, 150 beats a minute because it's rock and roll, uh, it's quavers though, so shouldn't be too difficult. Let's have a listen, it's good fun this one. Uh, lick number two, same rhythmic pattern as the previous lick, but uh, slightly different notes. Sounds like this one. Now this time I'm actually breaking my one finger per fret fingering rules here because I'm doing the string bend. So I'm going to bend the B string uh, on B8 using my second and third fingers then reach back with my index finger to get the high E5, which is not really positional fingering, but for this lick it's the easiest way of doing it. So again, it's all eighth notes and the right hand is all down strokes. Okay, let's have a listen. This stuff is uh, generally very simple to play, but it's incredibly fun. So here is lick number three, another sort of Chuck Berry, not to Chuck Berry, think Johnny Be Good, 50s rock and roll sort of thing. Sounds like this one, double stop like. And this is done with your index finger. Uh, double stop across uh, B5 and E5, then the third finger, double stop across uh, G7 and B7, and the X finger, double stop against G5 and B5, then a second finger hammer on to G6, and then the third finger plays D7, single note, all right. Quite simple, very effective with the track though, let's have a listen. So you see, just with these three little licks, you might actually have enough for a pretty good solo. Let's demonstrate. Rock and roll, it's fantastic. <laughs> 